Alright, what's up y'all? This is Beer Money Live. A couple of you have been wondering about my Nerf Garden collection, so... I'm going to show you them all in action. Alright, first one we're going to do today, so we're going to start with the Maverick. This gun is awesome. Uh, my review of the Maverick is, if you don't own it, you're a moron. Go buy it. This is my modified Maverick. As you can see, it's been modified. Air restrictors removed. Loaded with some Stefan. Alright, that's it for my Mavericks. Next gun we're going to do is going to be the Night Finder. I've modified this Night Mind Finder with uh, air restriction removal. Yeah, that's right. The Night Finder, buy it. It's a pretty good one. Hasn't done me anywhere on. Alright, this gun is Crossfire. I got this at the thrift store for 50 cents, and it might be the best 50 cents I've ever spent. completely unmodified and it seems to fire just fine. Cool thing about it is this little green rail here, in case you want to carry it in the battle with another gun. Okay. Well, somebody stays on. There you go. You can mount it to the front of your Vulcan there. Alright, next gun we're going to review is going to be the Nerf Recon. I don't know why they made this. Load up a clip. Yeah, see? Second shot already jammed. Third shot jammed. Fourth shot jammed. So I would not suggest taking this gun in the battle. Also, along with the recon, here's a few of the victims of it. It eats darts, rips them apart. I think it's part of Nerf's plan to make more money on ammunition. Alright. Next gun I'm going to do, the buzzsaw. Yeah, don't get your hopes up. Here we go. Now watch what happens by the time I fire the third shot. See, by the time you get to the third shot, it's completely out of power. Now this gun was an updated version of the rip saw. I don't know why they updated it, because watch this. That's precisely why the rip saw is way better than the buzz saw. Alright. Next gun I'm going to do. The Raider. Yes. Destroyed most of the target range, but... I'm going to put this drum clip inside it. Now this gun destroyed a few darts too, but it doesn't seem to do it as often as the recon. Didn't have the clip on it fully loaded that time. And as you can see, one got stuck there in the end. Let's see if it got destroyed at all. And there's a little dent in it right there. The thing about these clip system guns, they seem to eat darts. Alright, next, let's go old school. The Nerf Master Blaster. Also, the coolest bad guy in Mad Max history. Let's see if we can get this thing to fire. It's a little old. All that work for one shot. Nerf Balzuka. Cool looking. Doesn't work at all anymore, but in its day, a beast. Alright, another Nerf tragedy. Why? I mean, I wouldn't have bought this if it was more than a dollar at the thrift store. Yay. Shot a ball. All right, now my next gun. This is one of my favorites. 
the AirTech 3000. I've put a sight in mine, a little bit of reinforcement. The thing that sucked about this gun was it would only fire the bullets that came with it when you bought it. So of course when I got it, if I wasn't going to rip the air restrictors out already, it was the first thing I did. And it might be the best gun in my arsenal. Oh yeah. Now for those of you who are wondering, here's a shot of some of my Stefans. 3 -0 fishing weight, hot glue, and some foam. Right, if you don't make your own Nerf ammo, you're missing out. Alright, Coupe de Gras. Y'all been waiting for this. You know what this is and what it does. No modifications done to this one yet except for a 50 bullet belt. And I believe that about does it for the Nerf Gun Collection 2010. Keep killing them zombies.